today we have a special video as you can see we have another imperialism map but today it's not just a regular imperialism map it's every single team that has a mascot in this game represented on the map today 81 different teams 81 different mascots and we're gonna find out who's gonna take over the whole entire country and win every single game they have if you don't know how it works you have a wheel with 81 different teams that have a mascot and then we have an arrow and that's the way they will be attacking so we would spin the arrow like this we would spin the wheel like that and the team is going to be Penn State and they would be going up against the team to their northeast that's just an example one so they would be facing up against army because they're the team to their northeast all right let's get this thing started the first real role of this video is going to be iowa taking on the team to their northeast that team to iowa's northeast ish looks like it's going to be minnesota so iowa will be traveling to minnesota to take them on the golden gophers with 15 seconds left in a fourth down needing a touchdown they're gonna have a couple more chances for the end zone or maybe even just one last chance because it's fourth down can they pick it up no it looks like the hawkeyes are gonna sack them and secure the win as iowa goes on the road and gets the dub all right we had our first winner and we had our first loser who's gonna be up next it's gonna be northwestern heading to their northeast it looks like it's going to be Wisconsin. We have back-to-back -back big, big Ten matchups to start this thing off. There's only 42 seconds left, and Wisconsin's down a touchdown, and they're kicking off. They need this onside kick. Can they get it? And it looks like they are going to get it, and that's going to give them a chance to win this thing with a touchdown. They end up getting the touchdown, and now they have an extra point to take the lead. Can they do it? The kick is up. The kick is good. Northwestern has 28 seconds to get into field goal range. Seven seconds left for Northwestern. They're down one. They need to score. They got a third and two. They're going to drop back to pass. Can they get a deep ball off? He's got all day. He's chucking it deep, and it's picked off by one of the Badgers, and they are going to secure the dub and take all of Illinois. Northwestern fell to Wisconsin. Who's going to be up next? It looks like it's going to be California taking on the team to their east. Fortunately for Cal, there is no team to their east. It's just an empty state in Nevada. So we're going to give them that and we will spin again. All right, here we go. We're spinning again. It looks like it's going to be Air Force taking on the team to their northeast. That team to their northeast is looking like it is Kansas State. So air force we will be heading to kansas state kansas state has found themselves in a bit of a predicament they're at the at midfield down three but they have a fourth and ten and they need to pick it up because they're not in field goal range and they're going to run a halfback draw and they pretty much just gave away the game as air force is going to win this one in kansas state's building air force picks up the dub who's going to be the next team to win it looks like uab will be taking on the team to their southeast this one is tough it kind of looks like it's georgia and it kind of looks like it's florida i think it's closer to georgia so uab versus georgia it all comes down to this uab and the dragons have found themselves down seven with two seconds left one play left and they need a touchdown can they get it they're throwing for the end zone and it looks like it's batted down and the georgia bulldogs are gonna survive and take UAB's land. All right, on to the next one. Who is going to be playing now? It's going to be Bowling Green in that stacked Ohio. They're going to be heading to their northeast. You can see Bowling Green right there on the left side of Ohio. To their northeast is going to be Toledo at the top of Ohio. Toledo absolutely dominated this game. The scoreboard doesn't even show how this game really went. They were up 41 to 16 at one point. They end up holding on and winning by 10 as the Rockets are going to pick up the very little land that Bowling Green started with. All right, we're moving along. Wheels getting a little bit easier to see the names. Texas is going to be the next team playing, playing the team to their northwest. 
and it looks like that team is going to be TCU and the Horned Frogs. And they're going to rush to the line and call another play, it looks like. They might not have enough time if they don't score this thing. It's going to be going to overtime, but they run it in with zero seconds on the clock and get the dub. Texas is out of this thing. Not even Texas's mascot can win big games, but on to the next one, Oregon taking on the team to their east. That team is going to be none other than their in-state rival, Oregon State. The winner of this game will take the whole state. The Beavers look like they are going to protect their home field as they are going to defeat Oregon. All they have to do is let this time run out. They're going to kick the field goal, which will give them a 12-point lead. And Oregon, with no timeouts, won't have enough time to come back in this one. So the state of Oregon goes to Oregon State, and the Ducks are gone. The kick is up, and the kick is good. All right, who's going to be the next team? Give me somebody who hasn't played. Louisville has yet to play. They're going to their northeast. And that team to their northeast is going to be Purdue. Louisville Cardinals have found themselves in a great position. Tie ball game, 19 seconds left. Second and three on the Purdue four-yard line. All they need is a field goal to win this thing. But looks like they're going for the touchdown. And that's exactly what they're going to get as they are going to beat the Boilermakers on their home turf and win this game. All right, Purdue is gone. Who's going to be up next? It looks like it's going to be Nebraska heading to their west. It looks like if you go west from their logo, it kind of hits Colorado and it goes into the empty state, but we want to see a game. So Nebraska versus Colorado. I accidentally simmed that play and Nebraska ended up throwing a touchdown on that. So unfortunately we missed it, but Nebraska gets the W over the Buffaloes and will be taking their land. Who is up next, let's find out, is going to be Utah heading to their south. And it looks like that team is going to be the Arizona State Sun Devils. Let's see what's going to happen. 25 seconds left. It looks like they're going to be running down the clock so that Arizona State has zero chance of going down and scoring if Utah can get a touchdown. So they're going to hike it, drop back to pass, fourth down, and they're going to get sacked. And Arizona State's going to get the ball back. And it's all over for Utah as they had a short run in this thing. Teams are dropping left and right. Who's going to be the last one to survive? It looks like Nebraska is going to be the first team to play twice as they're heading to their south. And it looks like that team to their south is going to be Air Force, a team that has also already played and got a dub. But one team has to win and the other will be gone. Air Force with the ball down seven on the Nebraska eight yard line. Fourth and three. It all comes down to this play. If Air Force can't pick up the first down, Nebraska is going to win this thing. And the pass is going to get broken up. And Nebraska is going to win 28-21 to and take all of Air Force's land. All right, here we go. Who's going to be up next? It looks like it's going to be Georgia playing again to their southwest. It looks like that team to their southwest is going to be none other than the Florida Gators. It looks like Florida absolutely manhandled the Georgia Bulldogs and they're going to take over the Florida Georgia line and take all of Georgia's land that game right there just showed any mascot can win this thing it doesn't matter how good you are in real life but it looks like Maryland's going to be heading south and that team to their south is going to be Virginia this one has been a very close one all throughout and now Virginia has the ball down three on the Maryland 19-yard line with only 10 seconds left. They do have a timeout, but he gets an interception, and it looks like he's going to take it all the way back, and Maryland's going to seal the deal, and the Terps are going to take Virginia's land with a game-sealing pick six. That was a crazy ending to that one, but it looks like Washington State is going to be heading to their west now. Who's it going to be? Going west from their logo, it does look like that little piece of Oregon that's sticking up is in its way. So it will be Washington State and Oregon State who will be playing their second game. Oregon State might have survived the first attack at, on their home field, but it looks like Washington State is going to beat them 33-21 to and take up all of it, Oregon. Washington State picks up a good size piece of land with that dub. But there's a long way to go as Western Kentucky gets landed on 
and they will be having to attack to their northwest. And it looks like that will be Kentucky. Kentucky has the lead by seven, but Western Kentucky has the ball on their 30-yard line with a chance to throw it to the end zone on the last play and tie it up and send it to overtime, and that's exactly what's going to happen. After a Kentucky touchdown on their first drive of overtime, Western Kentucky has a fourth and six. If they don't get this, it is all over and Kentucky will survive, but can they pick up another humongous play and send this thing into a second overtime? It doesn't look like they're going to get it as they run a route just in front of the first down and they are going to lose as Kentucky picks up the dub. 66 teams still remain, but only one can win this whole thing. It looks like Rutgers is going to be heading to their west, and that team to their west is going to be Penn State. Penn State leads by 14 with a minute 30 left. Rutgers has got a fourth and eight right around midfield. If they can't pick this up, this one's going to be all over, and they run the halfback draw, and they're going to be turning it over as Penn State survives at a home. Another team down, who's going to be playing now? It looks like it's going to be Georgia Tech heading to their northwest. And that team to their northwest is going to be Tennessee. Tennessee and Smokey showed up to play today on their home field as they're going to get the dub over Georgia Tech 41-22. to They just weren't enough. No more teams from Georgia remain. Who's going to be up next? It looks like it's going to be South Alabama going to their west. That team to their west is Mississippi State. They have a chance to pick up a big piece of land. Mississippi State and the Bulldogs showed up big on their home turf as they win 42-17 to over South Alabama. And they're going to keep all of Mississippi and pick up a little bit of Alabama. All right, teams are picking up pieces of land left and right. Who's it going to be? Mississippi State is going to be playing again, heading to their south. That team to their south is going to be LSU, an SEC mashup. It looks like LSU was just a little bit too much for Mississippi State as the Tigers are going to take the dub 41-28. to And LSU is going to keep on going. All right, who is it going to be? Let's find out. It's going to be Wisconsin heading to their west. It looks like Iowa and Missouri are to their west, but it was pointed more south. So we're going to go with Missouri and Wisconsin. Back-to-back Tiger victories, but this time it was the Missouri Tigers as they beat Wisconsin by 17, 34 to 17, and they're going to take all their land. All right, who is this spin going to be? It looks like it's going to be UCF taking on the team to their north. And it looks like the team to their north is going to be the Florida Gators. They've already won a game. Let's see if they can do it again. This one is coming down to an onside kick. UCF needs it, and they're going to get it. They have it with 26 seconds left, and they need a field goal. They've got one more chance with time ticking down. They're going to have one shot at the end zone here. Down three. They're just going to hit a check down. Can he take it? It doesn't look like he's going to make it. He makes it to the seven-yard line. But Florida's going to hold on and get the dub. All right. Florida just got a big-time dub on that last play. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Maryland heading to their south. Maryland has a couple teams to their south, but it looks like it's going to be Virginia Tech. We've got another onside kick for the game. Maryland needs it, but they're not going to get it like UCF did. And the Hokies are going to hold on and get the dub. Back-to-back close games. I'm liking it. Who's it going to be? It looks like it's going to be Arkansas heading west. It looks like Arkansas heading west means they're taking on Oklahoma. It looks like the Sooners were a little bit too much for the Razorbacks as they win by eight and pick up the dub. All right, 58 teams left. Who's it going to be? It looks like it's going to be Rice playing their first game heading to their east. And there's only one team to their east, and it's going to be the TCU Horn Frogs. Big time, fourth and eight right here for Rice. If they want any chance of coming back in this game, they got to pick this up. 42 seconds left. They're going to run a read option on 4th and 8, and they're going to get stuffed. TCU survives once again, and they pick up a piece of land. All right, TCU's taking over all of Texas right now. 
Cal is up next, going to their south. It looks like that could be a lot of teams, but I'm going to go from where their logo is. It looks like it's pointing at Arizona State. It looks like this one's going to come down to an onside kick once again. Down five, Arizona State needs the onside kick, but it doesn't look like they're going to get it. And Cal's going to win this one. Cal making the target on their back a little bit bigger as they win. And it looks like it's going to be Cincy heading to their south. And as we looked at the crammed Ohio, Cincy heading to their south to take on Kentucky. Here we are. We've made it all the way to overtime. 21-21. to Kentucky didn't score on their first possession. So Cincinnati has the ball. And all they need to do is kick a field goal or score a touchdown. And they win this game. On second and goal, they're going to run the read option again. And they're going to seal the game with a read option rushing touchdown. And they're going to pick up a bit of Kentucky. Here we go. Who's going to be next? It looks like it's going to be Toledo, another Ohio team. They're heading to their northwest. It looks like that team to their northwest is going to be Michigan State. Toledo won their first game, but it looks like their run is going to come to an end in their second one as they're down 10 with only 30 seconds to Michigan State. And the Spartans are going to pick up a dub in their first game. Who's going to be on the chopping block next? It looks like it's going to be Missouri taking on the team to their northeast. Going from where their logo is, their northeast looks like it's going to be Notre Dame. Missouri has a 4th and 13 down 2 against Notre Dame in the 4th quarter. They need to pick this up because if not, it looks like it's going to be all over and Notre Dame will survive. What are they going to do? They're letting the clock tick down. I don't know why. Maybe they know something that I don't. But here we go. Three, two, drop back to pass. Can he find an open man 13 yards downfield? He does find an open man, but he's going to get tackled. Missouri had a good run there, but it all went to Notre Dame. And now South Carolina will be heading to their southwest. And it looks like that team is going to be Florida. Florida will be playing their third game already. It looks like the Gators are going to survive in the swamp once again as they steamroll South Carolina and pick up another dub and add to their huge chunk of land. Florida continues to defend their home field. Who's going to be playing? It looks like it's going to be Cal heading to the east. And it looks like that team is going to be BYU. Another onside kick for the game. Cal up three. BYU needs this onside kick. Can they get it? They kicked it about 100 yards downfield and out of bounds. Cal's going to win this one and pick up some more land. Cal continues to win close ones, but I don't think they can do it forever as Arizona is going to be heading south. No one is to their south, so we spin again, and it's going to be Auburn heading to their west. It looks like Auburn will be taking on LSU in an SEC matchup for their first game. It's going to come down to a fourth and goal for LSU. They need a touchdown to tie this up or Auburn's going to win and they are going to be able to tie it up. We find ourselves in overtime. LSU down seven with a fourth and three. They need to pick this up to tie it and it's not going to happen as Auburn is going to take all of LSU's land that they worked so hard for. Who is it going to be? It looks like it's going to be... Boston College heading to their east. There was no team to their south, so I just gave them the state below them. And that means we spin again. Who's it going to be this time? It looks like it's going to be USF heading to their south. There is no team to their south, so we're going to spin again. Here we go. Third spin of this turn. Who's it going to be? It looks like it's going to be Baylor. Baylor heading to their west. Baylor versus Texas Tech. It looks like the Baylor Bears showed up in their first game, and Texas Tech is going to be rolled 31 to 12. Let's see who is it going to be. It looks like it's going to be NC State playing their first game out of the five teams in North Carolina. They're the first team to play. They're heading to their Northwest. It looks like it could either be North Carolina or Duke. But since it's to the Northwest, we're going to go with Duke. It looks like Duke and the Blue Devils are going to hold on to their lead as they're going to win 20-10. to 10. 
and defend their homeland. NC State gets taken out in their first game, and it looks like Alabama is going to be playing their first game against the team to their north. And that team is going to be none other than their in-state rival, Auburn. Here we are once again with an onside kick to determine the game. Auburn down two. They need to pick it up. And Alabama's going to recover. And they're going to win. And Auburn lost all of that land just in one game. And Alabama picks it up. Can we get another team to play their first game? Let's find out. It's going to be East Carolina heading to their south. And that team to their south is going to be Clemson. It looks like Eastern Carolina is going to pick up the big time win over the Clemson Tigers as they're up 34 to 21 with only 30 seconds left. Shout out to you if you've made it this far into the video. Who's going to be up next? It's going to be Duke again heading to their north. And it looks like that team to their north is going to be Virginia Tech. The Duke Blue Devils go into the Hokies place and absolutely dominate as they're going to pick up a massive piece of land and the Duke Blue Devils are in business. Who is it going to be? Who's playing next? It looks like it's going to be Nebraska heading to their northwest. There's nobody to their northwest, so I just gave them the state. So that means we spin again, and it looks like it's going to be Navy. I don't believe they've played a game yet. Heading to their northeast. Looking at that tiny piece of land, it looks like they're going against Penn State. Here we are in overtime. Penn State is up two. Navy needs this two-point conversion to keep this game going. And it doesn't look like they're going to get it. And Penn State's going to win the shootout by two. All right, who is it going to be after the Penn State dub? It looks like it's going to be another Pennsylvania team, Pitt, playing their first game to their southwest. This is a close one. There's both Ohio and Marshall, but we're going to go with Marshall. Pitt versus Marshall. Another onside kick for the game. Pitt needs to recover it. They're down six to Marshall, but Marshall is going to get it, and they're going to win and take over all of Pitt's land. Marshall picks up a win in their first game. Who's going to be up next? It's going to be USF heading to the what, east. I don't think there is a team. There is no team to USF's east, so we're going to spin again, and it's going to be Kansas heading to their south, and that team is going to be Oklahoma. It's looking like Oklahoma is going to be able to defend their homeland once again as Kansas plays their first and their last game of this map. They lose 34-19. to All right, Oklahoma's land is growing and growing by the minute. It looks like UCLA will be playing their first game. And there's only one team to their east, and it's going to be Cal. UCLA's got the ball. Down four with 16 seconds left. They need about 68 yards for the touchdown to win this thing. They're dropping back to pass fourth and three. They need to get at least three yards here, and they're not going to, as Cal is going to escape with the dub. Cal continues to dominate the west. Who is it going to be now? Oklahoma playing once again to their east. That team to their east is going to be either Alabama, Vandy, or Notre Dame. And it's pointing a little bit north, so we are going to go with Notre Dame. It looks like the Fighting Irish and the Leprechauns are going to come out with another dub as, as they pick up a massive piece of land once again. And now they might hold the most land in all of the country as they pick up another dub. Who is it going to be? Can we get a new team playing again? Nope. Duke heading to their north. The arrow was pointing to the northeast-ish. So we're going to go with Duke versus Penn State. Penn State absolutely dominated the Blue Devils as they're going to pick up another dub and take all of Duke's land. Duke had a good run there for a little while, but it's all over for them. And Stanford will be playing their first game, and they will be taking on none other than Cal, who's been dominating the West Coast. One of the best mascots in all of college football, and probably the ugliest one, the Stanford Tree, is going to get the dub here, beating Cal by 18 and picking up a massive, massive piece of land just by winning one game. Cal had a good run over there in the West, but 
Stanford beat them, and now Michigan State is going to be heading to their south. From their logo, it looks like the team to their southwest is Notre Dame, and they will be playing for a massive piece of land. This is by far the craziest thing I've ever seen in any of my simulations I've done. 86-88 to in like the 10th overtime. Michigan State needs a two-point conversion to keep this thing going, or Notre Dame's going to win. They drop back to pass. He's trying to find a man. He's scrambling, and he's not going to get there, and Notre Dame's going to win 88 to 86. That was the craziest game I've ever seen, and Florida heading to their southwest. Florida does have a team to their southwest if you use the bottom of their land and point it at Miami. So, we're Florida versus Miami. The Florida Gators are unstoppable. They win again 34 to 17 over Miami Hurricanes. Florida continues to dominate the southeast. Houston is going to be heading to their northeast. And that team is going to be TCU and the Horned Frogs. Houston needs to hurry up and get to the line. They can run one more play if they can get it off. But they're not going to get it off as TCU is going to win by 7. And pick up the little bit of land that Houston had. TCU is taking over almost all of Texas as Arizona is going to be heading east. There is nobody in the state to Arizona's east. So I just gave it to them and we'll respin. Alrighty, Arizona dodged a bullet. Who's it going to be? It looks like Ohio State's going to be playing their first game against the team to their north. And that team to their north looks like it's going to be none other than Notre Dame. Game winning field goal on the line for Ohio State. Can they beat Notre Dame? The kick is up and the kick is good. They're going to beat Notre Dame and take all of that land in just one game. That was a massive win by Ohio State, but who's up next? North Texas heading to their east. And it looks like that team is going to be Oklahoma State. Two seconds left for North Texas. They need 66 yards for the touchdown and the win. If not, Oklahoma State is going to secure the win. Drop back to pass. Can he get it, can he get it off? He's going to get it off, and it's going to be caught. But it's not going to be nearly enough yards. North Texas had a good one game run there. Who's going to be North Carolina, another team who hasn't played, heading to their southwest? It looks like that team to their southwest is going to be Eastern Carolina. This game went all the way to overtime, and Eastern Carolina ended up scoring a touchdown after North Carolina settled for a field goal on the first drive. So they pick up the dub and add a tiny piece of land. North Carolina goes down and the wheel is getting smaller as West Virginia will be taking on the team to their west. And that team to their west is going to be Cincinnati. This one was all the Mountaineers as they dominate the Bearcats 45-13. to This one wasn't even close from the beginning. West Virginia added a piece of land to theirs. Who's going to try to do the same? Iowa State. It looks like they're going to be playing their first game. And the team to their south is going to be Ohio State. Iowa State comes out in their first game and doesn't show up as they get beat by Ohio State 38-20. to Ohio State keeps their big piece of land intact as Colorado State is going to be playing their first game heading to their east. And to their east is Nebraska. Colorado State in their first game is going to pick up a massive chunk of land in the central U.S. as they win 35-28 to over Nebraska. Big turn of events as Nebraska lost all that land and now TCU will have to defend. Now TCU will have to attack again to their northwest. There's two teams to their northwest, Oklahoma State and Arizona. But Arizona is more west, so we're going to go with TCU versus Arizona. TCU gets absolutely dominated 52-10 to by Arizona, and they're going to lose all of that land that they built up over those W's. But it is what it is. That's the name of the game, baby. 28 teams remain. Who's going to be playing now? West Virginia, once again, heading to their west. And that team to their west is going to be the Louisville Cardinals. West Virginia ends up winning this one as they score a late touchdown to take the lead and win by three over Louisville. 
we spin again, and who's going to be playing this time? Syracuse finally gets landed on, and they'll be playing their first game to the south. And that team to their south could either be Penn State or Marshall, but since it was the southwest, we're going to go with Marshall. The Oranges showed up to play in their first game as Syracuse dominates Marshall 35-14, to and they will be picking up all their land, and Marshall's run is over. We still have some teams that haven't played yet. Can we get one? Yes, we do. Wake Forest heading to their north. And it looks like Wake Forest will be taking on Penn State. Penn State, they got only two seconds to get to the line and they're not going to make it. As Wake Forest is going to pull off the dub 31-28. to And with one game, they just picked up a whole lot of the East Coast. New teams are finally starting to show up. Can we get another one? As we do. Tennessee will be heading south, and that team to their south is going to be Florida. Is this finally the end of the road for the Florida Gators? They're down four. They have a fourth and four. They need to pick it up, and they're not going to pick it up as Tennessee takes the dub and will be taking their land with them. Florida had a good run there for a while, and now Western Michigan, nobody is to their north, will spin again. Who is it going to be? It looks like it's going to be Washington heading to their north. I don't think that's a team either. So we spin again. And the third spin of this spin is going to be Fresno State. And nobody is to their southwest. We spin again for the fourth time. Here we go. And it's going to be Tennessee heading to their east. And that team is going to be East Carolina. East Carolina continues to win and continues to grow. They could go on a run and win this whole thing as they are going to win this one 31 to 21. It's unfortunate for Tennessee that they lose all that land, but that's what it's all about. Akron heading to their north. There is nobody to the north of Akron, so we spin again and we're going to get Akron again. And they're going to be playing the team to their south. And the team to their south is going to be another team that hasn't played, and it's going to be Ohio. It looks like in the game of two teams that haven't played yet, Akron is going to pick up the dub. Short run for Ohio. Akron stays alive as they win by six. All right, who is it going to be now? Vandy. They have yet to play also. They're going to be heading east. The arrow was pointing southeast-ish. It looks like they will be taking on Alabama. Vandy with eight seconds left, ticking. Can they get a playoff? They have to score a touchdown on this play. They're going to get it off. Are they going to be able to score? It looks like they aren't going to be able to score. They get to that inch yard line and get tackled. That is unfortunate for Vanderbilt as they're gone after one game. Alabama adds a little bit of land. Who's going to be up next? Akron playing again to their northeast. That team to their northeast is going to be Syracuse. It looks like Akron's going to be able to hold on to their lead. As they win 26 to 22 and add a little bit of land and they stay alive. That's the most important thing. There's still some teams that haven't played. Can we get one? Yes, we can. Army playing the team to their north. Unfortunately, there is no team to Army's north. So East Carolina will be playing again to the north. They do have a team to their north and it's Wake Forest. The winner of this will have almost all the East Coast. East Carolina is on an absolute tear as they're going to win another one in a blowout over Wake Forest 42 to 17 as they're going to pick up almost all of the East Coast. Can we get somebody who hasn't played yet? No, Arizona will be heading to their northeast. They have a whole lot of land. They have a bunch of teams to their northeast, but we're going to go with Colorado State going northeast from their logo. Colorado State's regular college football team might not be very good, but their mascots are showing up with another big win, 40-15 to over Arizona. Another big time win for Colorado State as East Carolina will be heading west. Let's see who we're going to get. Can we get somebody who hasn't played yet? Washington State hasn't has played, but it's been a very long time. They will be heading east. We're going to use the top part of Washington and they're going to go up against Washington. Washington State versus Washington. Washington showed up 
and showed out in their first game of this imperialism as they win 31-21 to over their in-state rival, Washington State. Can we get another new team to play? Let's find out. Baylor heading to their east. And that team to their east is going to be Alabama. Baylor absolutely dominated Alabama this whole game as they're going to win 31-17 to or maybe even 38-17 to as they're on the one-yard line with a minute left. Baylor will be taking all of Alabama's land. Baylor picks up a big-time win and keeps their hopes alive as Iowa, who hasn't played in a while, will be heading east. They will be heading east to face Ohio State. One second left. Iowa down seven, needing 55 yards and a touchdown to send this thing into overtime. And he's going to get hit, and they're not going to get it as they lose by seven. Ohio State keeps it rolling as they win another one. And Stanford will be heading west. I don't think they have a team to their west. They do have a team to their west at the bottom of their land. It will be Fresno State, and they will be playing their first game. Stanford, with one second left, needs a miracle. They need about 84 yards on one play as there's zero seconds on the clock. Down four, they need a touchdown. They're slinging it, and it's going to get broken up as Fresno State is going to play their first game and own almost all of the West Coast. Who is it going to be? Let's find out. It's going to be Oklahoma State, who has only played one game, I do believe, will be heading northwest. And that team to their northwest is Colorado State. We've got an onside kick for the game. Oklahoma State needs to recover it, or it's going to be all over. And Colorado State gets it, and they're going to win and take the little bit of land that Oklahoma State did have. I can't believe we made it this far, and there are still teams that haven't played. West Virginia will be going to their south, and that team to their south is going to be East Carolina. East Carolina, they had a good run, but this is where it comes to an end, as West Virginia is going to beat them 31-17, to and their run continues. Only 12 teams remain. Who's it going to be? Boise State playing their first game? Is it Boise State? No, it is Boston College heading to their west. I don't believe they've played a game either. And Boston College, who hasn't played a game, will be playing another team who hasn't played yet, Army. With eight seconds left, Army is trying to kick a game-winning field goal from deep. 52 yards, and it's up, and it's good, as they're going to win this game by two over Boston College. All right, big win for Army in their first game. USF, there's nobody south of them, but I'm tired of them dodging bullets. We're making them play the closest team to them, and that team is going to be West Virginia. West Virginia tried to come back, but they came up short as USF is going to win their first game and pick up a massive chunk of land as they own almost all of the East Coast now after one dub. Boise State and Western Michigan are the only teams that haven't played, and Western Michigan gets landed on, and they're going to be attacking the closest team to their east. And that team could either be Army or Akron, but we're going to go with Army because they're more north. Western Michigan, with a chance to tie it up with six seconds left and send it into overtime. Can they do it? The kick is up. And it's going to be good. And in overtime, Western Michigan in their first game clutches up and gets a touchdown after Army failed to score. Another team falls as there's only nine left and Akron will be heading to the north. There is nobody straight north of Akron, so we're going to spin again and it's going to be Baylor heading to their west. And that team is going to be Colorado State. Baylor looks like they're going to be able to hold on in the end 24 to 17 as they're going to pick up a massive piece of land and now I believe they own the biggest piece of land out of anyone. Eight teams remain and Boise State being the only one who hasn't played and they're going to have to play now against the team to their south and that team to their south is going to be Fresno State. Boise State in their first game 
not trying to make it their last as they win 35 to 10 over Fresno State and pick up a massive piece of land. Who is gonna have to battle it out next? It looks like Ohio State will be heading west and they will be taking on Baylor. Ohio State with a seven point lead. Baylor has a fourth and nine with only 30 seconds left. They gotta pick it up or this one's all over. He's got all day in the pocket, but he gets sacked as the coverage was locked down and Ohio State's gonna win. And they own all of the middle of the U.S. Ohio State owns almost the whole country right about now. As they're going to be playing again to their east. And that team is going to be USF. Brutus and Ohio State dominated the game. As they went 45-7 to over USF. And they are on an absolute tear. We are at the final five. Who's going to be playing Boise State heading to their southeast? And that team to their southeast is going to be, once again, Ohio State. Once again, Brutus comes out and he wins another big game as they win 28-14. to And Boise State's run is over. Ohio State is winning everything, but it only takes one loss to get him kicked out as Washington, nobody is to their west, so we'll spin again. Who is it going to be? It is going to be Washington heading south. And it is none other than Ohio State once again. Can they survive again? This might be the end of the road for Brutus and Ohio State as they're down four with only two seconds left, and they need a 75-yard touchdown pass right here. Can they get it off? He threw that thing deep. Can it get caught and taken to the end zone? It's not. It's going to drop, and that's the end of the road for Brutus and Ohio State as Washington now owns a massive piece of land. We are down to the final three teams. Who's going to be playing? Akron will be heading to their east. Akron is almost completely surrounded by Washington, so Washington is going to be to their east. Akron has found themselves one play away from going to the championship of the mascot imperialism. Fourth and seven for Washington. Can they pick it up? No, they can't. Akron's going to the championship to take on Western Michigan. You do not want to win this spin because the winner of this spin will be the away team because they will be attacking. So here we go. The away team is going to be Akron, Western Michigan, who has played one game in this entire video, has a home game for the championship, against the Akron Zips. Can they pull it off by winning two games, or is Akron going to pull it off? Here we go. At Western Michigan, for the championship of it all, the winner of this will be the mascot imperialism champion. Who would have thought it'd be Akron versus Western Michigan? After one quarter, it's tied 7-7. to Akron takes the lead in the second quarter, and they'll have a four-point lead heading into the half. Akron extends their lead to eight, heading into the fourth, and they have the ball. Western Michigan is not in a good spot. Down nine, which is two possessions, and they didn't get the onside kick. So Akron is going to be your mascot imperialism champions. One of the six Ohio mascots pulls it out, and they're going to be your champions. Who would have thought 81 mascots? And it's one of the worst college football teams in all of America as they pull it off 28 to 26. And they're your champions. I hope you guys did enjoy. This took me about eight hours to film. So please drop a like and drop a sub. I'm almost 2K. Peace.